Today, we're gonna unbox a Court CR250. With all this social distancing stuff, I'm getting a little stir crazy. One of the YouTubers that I follow, Philip McKnight, said that right now is a good time to have some sort of project. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not used to this YouTube business, but uh, why not? So let's unbox this Court CR250. All right, it's finally here. The box says Dean, but it's not Dean, and I'm guessing it's just recycled. Whoa, whoops. All right, so we're doing all this live. I have no idea what to expect. Yes, we'll see. Uh, let's start with this side right here. Okay. And I'm not planning on reusing this box, so I can not too you know, married to it or anything, but... Hello, microphone. <laughs> cool. So, let's see what we got. Curiously, uh, this other box is a Dean box. Not exactly sure why. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid we might get a big surprise. Alright, so, let's see what we got. Definitely not a Dean. All right. Let's see if I can get a little bit more up close footage here. Uh, pretty solid packing, all things considered. Uh, cheese cloth or whatever this kind of thing is. Extra stuff around the uh, the headstock. I heard some stuff that was jingling in that kind of made me like nervous. But okay, it's just these Allen ranches here. Let's see if I can take this off. All right. Oh boy. What are we going to find? An extra bit of padding around the headstock just to keep it safe. You know, these three by three Gibson-esque headstocks, you know, they, they tend to break. So extra extra careful now let's see here let's unwrap what we have wow this looks like a nice nice guitar all right you see they have some extra padding here on like the uh, selector switch. Man. Take a look at this. I've been showing it to the camera mostly. I haven't even had a chance to look at it myself. My lord. Everything looks mo for the most part okay. No obvious dings or scratches. I mean, okay. I gotta get a little bit of close-ups on this. Uh, these are really just, I'm, I'm, I'm just having first impressions. I'm, I'm kind of speechless, honestly. Let's see if I can get some close-ups. Man, how pretty, look at the flame on that. Oh man. Tunematic style hardware. Uh, looks like a little bit of something on these pickups. Not too bad. This uh, nut is supposed to be a new bone nut, so I guess we'll see. One thing I really like about this is, whoops, uh, this uh, neck cutaway joint here. You'll see that it's not this blocky sort of thing. It, it, it blends in really, really well. So, yeah, just incredible. Oh, this is this is really good this looks 
fantastic. All right. Okay, so my uh, camera doesn't have an automatic focus uh, with a quiet motor. So we're going to wait until tomorrow morning to get some close-ups on this. And that's going to happen, right? We're back. Here she is. The Court CR250 in dark blue burst. There's a monitor right behind the camera, so if I veer off that way, that's where I'm looking. I had been looking for a guitar in this finish, the, this, uh, uh, you know, LP style uh, guitar body in this finish for, uh, I want to say a year or two. Epiphone used to have a standard plus top pro that looked like this in the promotional photos, but the reality was that when you actually saw the edge of the burst, it looked black in the photos, but it was really a sort of dark uh, purple, kind of like a hue that is that your fingers get stained with uh, when you're eating blueberries. Thus, blueberry burst. Makes sense. I went to a, a dealer that had that Epiphone, really excited, and when I saw it and I saw it in my hands, I was just like, oh man, this isn't what I wanted. Flash forward a couple months, I see an ad on Instagram from Court uh, and one of the representatives is sporting this guitar. I found a seller on Reverb, asked him a few questions, asked if he could send me some non-promotional photos because I didn't want to be duped again. When I saw those photos that were just snapped on his phone, I was just like, okay, I need to get it. And uh, here it is. I'm kind of over the moon. Hi, it's me from the future. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Court CR250 in Dark Blue Burst. This video was originally supposed to be a combination of an unboxing, a demo, and a review, but I found that it would be much too long in order to do all of those things. So, next video, we'll take a look at what makes this Court CR250 special, what could be improved, and what we're going to do with it. So, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.